As Korea tries to contain an outbreak of foot and mouth disease in cows, two more suspected cases have been reported in Poen, in Chungcheongbukdo province. The agriculture ministry, meanwhile, confirmed Monday that vaccines have proved effective in curbing the type A strain of the virus, the type that's been detected this time. But with the nation likely to run out of vaccine stock, the ministry says it plans to import more from abroad. Kim yo sun reports. The government has confirmed that the recent outbreak of the A-type strain of foot and mouth disease can be contained using vaccines. Vice Minister Lee Jun-won of the Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs said at a briefing on Monday that the strain of the virus detected at a farm in Yeoncheon, Gyeonggi-do province, about 70 kilometers away from the capital, is a match for the type of vaccine currently used for cows, which covers both type O and type A. He, however, said that the current inventory would not be enough for the worst-case scenario where the virus spreads to pigs, adding that Korea will have no choice but to import more doses. According to the Agriculture Ministry, the country has 990,000 of the O-plus A vaccines and 8.3 million of the O-type. The ministry plans to import some 1.6 million of the O-plus A-type and 3.2 million of the O-type virus starting this week through early March. Of the past eight outbreaks of the highly contagious disease in the country since 2000, almost all involved O-type strain. Only one of them at cow farms in Pocheon and Yeoncheon, Gyeonggi-do province, involved the A-type. After the nation's worst outbreak, foot-and-mouth vaccinations became mandatory in 2010. The O-plus A vaccine is given to cows, while pigs are given only the O-type, given that the A-type strain has never been detected in Korean pigs, something the authorities hope remains the case this time as well. Kim Yo-sun, Arirang News.